Focus, focus, focus. Yo guys, it's me, Ksenia. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what's inside of my typical Russian fridge, what groceries we usually buy as Russians, and what you can always find in any Russian fridge. Let's get started. For the record, yesterday my husband and I were cleaning our fridge because it turned out that it was in need of a good cleanup. I didn't put or buy anything special for this video, I mean extra groceries or something. I just wanted to show you how it looks like on any ordinary day like today. Let's go shelf by shelf. In this huge pot is she. It's traditional Russian cabbage soup. My husband cooked it like a few days ago. There's cabbage, potatoes, onions, carrots, some tomatoes, chicken, and some spices, of course. I'm not really into Russian soups, like I prefer Asian ones more, but Vlad loves to cook soups, especially Russian ones like shi, borscht, salyanka, all that kind of stuff. So I don't eat it. Here we have some cans in store, like beef stew, mackerel, red beans, olives, pineapples. I really love Hawaiian style pizza with ham and pineapple. So I bought it to cook it one day. Next we have some butter and the leftovers of my Vietnamese dipping sauce. That's it for this shelf. On the next shelf, we have some cooked buckwheat. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's kind of healthy, so I'm trying to eat healthy these days because I want to lose weight. In every Russian fridge, you can find numerous of jars with God knows what's inside. Same thing here. I was a bit surprised yesterday when I found out what some of them are. So the first one is apricot with sugar. You can add it in cereal in the morning or to serve it with pancakes. Next jaw, some kind of jam. Let's try it. Yeah, it's a strawberry jam. I don't like jams, I don't eat them. Uh, we got them from my mother-in-law. And my husband, he's a total sweet tooth. But I don't actually remember him eating this. It stays here like forever. Another jam. Mm, I don't know what is it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I guess we will never find out what's inside. It's some kind of puree. I don't know. Next job. This is sea buckthorn paste. It looks a bit weird. It's extremely healthy. I mean, extremely. <laughs> Probably that's why no one ate it <laughs> in this family. <laughs> These two things are plum puree for my son. I added in his cereal in the morning. And this thing, oh my goodness. This is basil sauce my mother-in-law made. Oh my God, it smells so amazing. It's just amazing. And it goes so well with any kind of meat. This is leftover kimchi paste. It's not fish and pretty spicy. I really love it. And two jars of pickled cucumbers. That's it for this shelf. Next shelf. Okay, some mess. Leftover cottage cheese, I'm sorry. <laughs> so here we have some eggs. Cheese is the cheap one. I add it into pizza. Next, leftovers of white and red onion, coffee cream, some carrot, a jar of jalapenos. I can't live without something spicy. And the jar of sauerkraut my mother-in-law made. It's fermented cabbage and it's very popular in Russia. I mean, almost everyone have it in their fridge. And it goes well with vodka or just a side dish. My son's yogurt. 
my Korean paste, soybean paste and red chili pepper paste. I don't use them too often right now, I don't know why, no reason. And some cottage cheese. I use it to make sirniki for my son. Sirniki is kind of cheese pancakes, but without actual cheese inside. I don't even know why the word cheese is here. Probably because cheese is made from milk and cottage cheese as well, right? Fruit and veggies drawers. Here are some apples for my son. I don't eat them. Some tangerines. You know what? I just realized that I don't eat a lot of things that are actually are in my freaking fridge. That is not fair. And I use tangerines to cook some compote for my son. So here are some veggies like iceberg lettuce, some cabbage, green onions, tomatoes, onion, chili, and dry seaweed combo. Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. I add it while cooking rice and it gives that seaweed flavor, very delicate and Asian. Love it. On the door shelves. Here I keep my masks and eye patches. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And kids' suppositories. Suppository, I don't know. Next shelf, some leftover garlic, soft cheese, hoisin sauce, low calorie caramel, very good to add in your coffee. My son's vitamin D, some condensed milk. My husband loves it. And here's my mustard mini collection. This is a Russian mustard. Almost everyone in Russia has it in their fridge. This uh, French mustard, good for salads. Heinz mustard, waste of money. Dijon mustard, too salty. And horseradish. I'm gonna make horseradish sauce soon. I've never tried it before. These are some cheese sauces and ketchup. There is no mayo, but only because my husband took it in the morning to his work. But we always have mayo in our fridge. Almost all Russian people have mayo in their fridges. Like Russians obsessed with mayo. I don't eat mayo because I'm trying to be healthy. And well, people who are trying to be healthy, they don't eat mayo. That's obvious, right? Here's some milk. This is for my son. And these two are cheap ones. I use it for my protein cocktails. And shiracha sauce. My favorite one. This is it for the fridge. But we have a freezer. Russians are freezing everything, like soups, broth, bones, lards, like anything. And it's very important to have your freezer stuffed. Because if it's not stuffed, then how will you survive when the end of the world will happen? Hmm? Well, that's obvious state of mind, but still there's some truth in it. To be honest, we didn't clean up the freezer. So here we have, as I told you before, broth. It's... Uh, that's chicken one, I guess. More chicken broth. Four cutlets for my husband. I don't eat them. This thing for ice. Empty for some reason. Lots of sausages. I throw them to make pizza later. Like you see. No idea what the thing is. Some crab sticks. Some chicken liver for my son. This is salo. Everyone knows what salo is. It's a lard with meat and spices. Very good with vodka. Okay, it's a mess. I'm sorry, it's a mess. What's in here? Oh my goodness. Chicken thighs, chicken bones, some butter, vareniki. It's kind of dumplings with potatoes and mushrooms inside. Uh, my son's Pilimeni, Russian dumplings, some minced meat, I guess, more of lard, chicken breast, frozen mushrooms, more lard, my son's cutlets. I need to and here we have some cauliflower, green beans, um, more lard, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> More lard and frozen celery.
that's pretty much it for the frozen. And it's and it's soft. What can I say? YouTube makes me better. I mean, I'm cleaning up more. I cleaned up the whole fridge yesterday, but okay, I didn't have time to clean the freezer, but I will, I will do that. I mean, I'm trying to keep clean my apartment now because I'm filming a lot. You started to notice some imperfections in your apartment when you see it through the camera, you know? I see a lot of messy things, like, and I don't want to hide it. I want to clean it up. So that's the cool thing, right? And maybe one day I will clean up our balcony and I will show you what's inside. <laughs> but no anytime soon. Mm -mm, no. And huge thanks to my Patreon friends. I really appreciate your support, guys. Hope this video was interesting to you. And that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!